So, here we are, episode one of the new uh, How to Replant the Flight Simulator series. Right, so let's get underway, shall we? So, the fundamentals of being a flight sim repainter are that first, you must decide what kind of artist you're going to be. Are you going to be a repainter? By that I mean, are you just going to take the paint kits and paint them in your own colours? Or are you going to be a texture artist? Now, a texture artist will redraw the panel lines, the rivet lines, the airframe decals, anything you see on the external or even internal of an aircraft is in flight simulator uh, has been done by a texture artist now this process can be long and laborious but at the same time it is the most productive if you're a texture artist you get more done uh, and that's by that i mean you learn new techniques constantly you're constantly evolving ways to do things such as panel lines or rivet lines you're constantly developing new techniques to keep yourself ahead now one of the other things is as i say it's a long road but it's the most fruitful i feel and in that i mean that you're taking an aircraft that is more or less blank and you're putting your own feel on it, your own spin onto it. So the panel lines, rivet lines, airframe decals, they're all to your own specification. So if you wanted, say, a tail art that's from uh, Tornado, you put it on TSR2 like I recently did, you do that. You develop new techniques for drawing that tail art and transferring it over to another. Um, yeah, so we're going to follow that road in this series. We are going to teach you how to become texture artists. Now, you're going to need at least three fundamental and key programs. You're going to need DXT BMP to convert the textures to a native flight simulator format. You're going to need a graphic uh, manipulation program, uh, Photoshop, GIMP, Paint Shop Pro, and for this series I'm going to be using GIMP purely because I want to start with a new program so I'm going to be on the same footing as you are on the learning curve with that program. Uh, and finally your flight simulator of choice FSX, FS9, uh, FS8, whatever you use. So let's show you these programs first. So the first one you're going to want is DXT BMP, okay? That can be found on www.mwgfx.co.uk forward slash programs forward slash DXT BMP .htm, or you can just Google search DXT BMP and that'll bring you up at this page. And if you come down to the bottom, you download the installer, you install that from memory, it installs to C drive graphics folder. After that, we're going to need a means of editing our images. So again, GIMP is just www.gimp.org and GIMP, as it says in the blurb here, GIMP is the GNU image manipulation program. So with this program, you've got a freeware alternative to Photoshop. And the final thing, as I said, is your flight simulator, which you've no doubt got installed. So for the purpose of this series, we'll be repainting this. Kirk Olsen's F-16. Now, there's a reason for this also, even though you might hate the aircraft itself, the F-16. Uh, it does have the, some of the nicest mapping for a tutorial there could be. Uh, it has a top side. It has an underside, and then it has your fin sides and your engine pods on another texture sheet. So you've got three texture sheets. Your top, your bottom, your fin and engine sides. That's it for the externals, apart from your pylons and things if you want to go into editing them. So if you come on to simviation.com forward slash fs underscore paintkits2.htm, it's down at the bottom of the page, 
and it's only the relevant texture so any external ones you really need after that we're going to need to convert those textures now once you've got it into your flight simulator you can verify it's installed by loading your flight simulator having a look but you can then take your texture and there'll be formats like this with nothing on them okay you won't be able to see the images like these which I've already converted I got ahead of myself but uh, so all we do with them again drag them onto DXT BMP okay you can see here rescue now I know these work on an alpha channel means that they won't show up unless this alpha channel is present okay uh, even if the alpha channel was pure black these would not show up if the alpha channel was pure white you'd see the black as well but we'll get into that into another episode so for now we're just going to save 32 bit 888 hyphen 8 and save that's it it's converted if you want to convert it back to flight simulator format you go to save and you can either save it again as 32 bit 888 because flight simulator will read that provided you haven't opened it with another program in the meantime so if you resaved it as 32 bit 888 and then opened it again in photoshop then tried to look in flight sim it wouldn't work you'd have to go into dxt bmp again and convert it once more so that's just what it's done to convert it back though you'd go for one of your standard formats with an alpha channel so dxt1 dxt3 or 32 bit but that's pretty much all the fundamentals are your programs you'll need which path you're going to be on and in a way what you're going to gear yourself towards myself i geared myself more towards military aviation that is due in part to uh, past experience also due in part to taste i do quite like being deafened uh, by military aircraft uh, they just stir my soul up a bit more than uh, well long metal tube so uh, yeah well that's been episode one it's just been the fundamentals getting you started uh, in episode two we'll look at getting these textures into our editing program and starting to draw some panel lines so if you have been thank you for watching and for now, that's me out. Take care.